now you're locked up and you're awaiting, you know, either a trial or a, you know, a plea deal and so forth. And your lawyer is speaking to the media and he said some fairly harsh things. Uh, he says that, you know, his client, you and other accused capital rioters, uh, capital rioters were uniquely vulnerable to being misled by Trump. He said a lot of these defendants, they're all fucking short bus people. These are people with brain damage. They're fucking retarded. But they're our brothers, our sisters, our neighbors, our co-workers. They're part of our country. These aren't bad people. They don't have prior criminal history. Fuck. They're subjected to four plus years of goddamn propaganda, the likes of which the world has not seen since fucking Hitler. Have you heard yeah, that? my lawyer was my lawyer is a, a not a very good representation of me, what I believe, and I don't agree with anything that he said. The fact of the matter is, we have seen propaganda campaigns, the likes of which are like Hitler, over the last several decades. It's called Operation Mockingbird. The CIA infiltrated the media, and they have been controlling the narrative and propagandizing the American people to go to war with foreign nations of which these foreign nations have resources that certain corporations that collude with our government have interest in. These are proxy wars. They are wars quite often not declared by Congress, but what they do is they, they exchange public money and they put it into private hands through non-government organizations and contractors. This is a war machine, and it's been going on since Operation Paperclip, which, which is when the Nazis in, you know, were brought over here. The worst of the worst, their war, criminal, their war criminals, their war crimes were wiped clean. They were given false identities and put at some of the highest levels of point of power in our country. Look at Werner von Braun, head of NASA. Okay, that's just one example. So the fact of the matter is, Al Watkins is wrong. Well, your lawyer, uh, Watkins, actually publicly called on Trump to pardon you, uh, arguing that you were unarmed, not violent, not destructive, and had been acting on the invitation of the president. Did you feel at that point that Trump was going to pardon you? Well, first of all, he's not my lawyer anymore. He's my previous attorney. Okay. Um, and secondly, I hoped so, but I don't fault him for not. Okay. Well, the pardon was not granted. Um, you know, basically your lawyer said that you regret very much, uh, having not just been duped by the president, but being in a position where you were allowed that duping to put you in a position to make decisions you should not have made. Were those your yeah, words? I never or asked his? him to say that. Never asked him to say that. Never said it myself. He said all sorts of things on my behalf that weren't true. He said I felt duped by Trump. Never said it. Never asked him to say it. He said that I denounced Q and the QAnon community. Never said it. Never asked him to say it. He said that I was a short bus, retard, uh, schizophrenic, bipolar, depressed, and delusional. None of which was in my psychological evaluation. In fact, in my psychological evaluation, it says the antithesis of that. It says that I am not being diagnosed with schizophrenia that I am not delusional. And I can show you in black and white sometime if you'd like to see. Well, according to your ex-lawyer, he also said that you were prepared to testify against Trump in a second impeachment trial. However, you know, it ended in acquittal, you know, without any witnesses being called. So were you actually well, prepared to, to testify no, against Trump? No, he said all sorts of stuff in the media that I never asked him to say. Right. Well, he had also asked for you to be released, but on March 8, 2021, a federal judge actually ruled they should not be released, saying that the lawyer's arguments were so frivolous as to insult the court's intelligence. In a written statement, the judge said the defendant does not fully appreciate the severity of the allegations against him. When you found that out, what did you think? That was the beginning of my suspicions that Al Watkins was not the man for the job. But as all lawyers do, being sn the snakes that they are, and there are many lawyers that are good, but not many, um, he convinced me that he knew what he was doing because he was a lawyer, a federal lawyer for over 30 years. So being that I had no understanding of the legal system, I naively trusted him as I naively trusted the FBI when they said they weren't going to arrest me. Right. And I guess your lawyer also said that you had, you know, parted ways with QAnon and you asked no longer to be associated with QAnon at that point. And you're saying that's not true either. Yep, that's not true. Okay. So you're still fully into QAnon. 
Well, first of all, it's very important to recognize that QAnon and the QAnon community are very different from Q and the Q drops. The QAnon community has been heavily infiltrated by people that are spreading disinformation as a means of contaminating the very true information that Q is disseminating. For example, JFK Jr. is alive and going to be Donald Trump's president, or the earth is flat. These things are preposterous and can be easily disproven. That's why they were injected into the Q movement or the QAnon movement so as to contaminate it with ludicrous ideas and contaminate the very real ideas like we have a debt-based currency that's enslaving our country or that human and child trafficking, which is the modern day slave trade, is alive and well and is being used as a means to blackmail CEOs, entertainers, and politicians and bankers into submission to serve a new world order, one world government agenda. Those things are very real. Just look at what happened with Epstein. 